Good evening, Mamai Flambo. 60 years ago, our country and our political organization, the United Workers' Party, was led by a man called John Compton. He transformed the body politics of this country. He transformed the economic aspects of this country. 60 years later, we are now led by a man by the name of Alan Chastney. Tonight, we are going to recognize a very special man. A man who has been an icon in this country in media. We are presenting this award to induct you into the United Workers Party Hall of Fame, Sam Jugwa Flood. I, I don't know if we should just start a political rally now and get it over with because I feel the mood in here is electrifying. I want you to give the biggest round of applause to your leader, the next Prime Minister of St. Lucia. And I want you to give a big round of applause to the United Workers Party for 60 years. Give yourself a round of applause. You deserve it. This occasion, organized by Alan and his team on this 60th anniversary to bring leaders of the region together to share ideas is an important milestone in collaboration and learning from each other's experience. What Alan initiated was a forum for opposition leaders. Throughout the world, you know, there's this tendency towards authoritarianism, where people feel that democracy is somehow a luxury that we cannot afford. We are sending a message in this region that we are bucking that trend. Because democracy, as messy as it is, it beats every other alternative. What I admire most about Brother Chess is his ability to relate to everyone. His ability to recognize that his greatness is in creating the pathway to greatness for everyone else. I believe the region lost a lot when Alan lost the election in St. Lucia. Whatever your political situation in St. Lucia, you deal with it the way you see fit. But as a regional leader, I was always proud to stand at meetings and watch Alan represent St. Lucia and represent the Caribbean Islands. Caribbean is my yard. My your yard too? Huh? But we have to work more collaboratively in order to get our interests represented. And a voice like Alan is a loud voice, I believe, and an effective voice to speak to some of the issues. Humility is not something that comes easily to politicians. But Alan has it. He has a listening ear and that will serve him well as it has done in government as he returns to government which will be soon i support alan chastney to be the next prime minister of st lucia let your light shine let yourself be an example of what good citizens of st lucia and the caribbean are do not put your light under a bowl. Do not hide it. Wear your party colors. Wear your party label. Be proud you WP members. Be proud St. Lucia. Be proud Caribbean people. In opposition, I don't expect Alan would be in opposition for too long again. Make me happy. Bring back Alan to run St. Lucia and to help the Caribbean region go forward. Thank you and good evening everyone. I want to thank the leadership of this party because without you, I cannot do it alone. And without all of you, we cannot do it alone. 
We cannot allow for the benefit of our foregone fathers to allow their good work and the good work of all the people that supported them to be erased. We must, we have to, it's essential, it's urgent that we win the next general elections in St. Lucia. We are the UWP and we must work with Alan to ensure that we return our great party to where it rightfully belongs at the helm of governance in St. Lucia. I want to implore you to continue in your support of this party and to show our appreciation, we are going to clear the tables and play some real good music so that you can get down tonight and let your light shine in a different fashion. Yo, 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 yo,